Thousands of tourists travel to Grand Rapids each year, and that's why the city is finding ways to engage the locals to all the city has to offer. Our Brenda Mack tells us more about the annual tour Itasco. The birthplace of Judy Garland is just one of many landmarks that attract visitors to Grand Rapids each year. I like to say France has the Mona Lisa, America has the Wizard of Oz. And today the community came out to learn that and more. So today we're doing the Tour Itasca and we have hosted this for over 15 years. What we do is we invite the frontline staff at our area businesses and it helps them to be more educated on what there is to do and see in the area. So when visitors stop at their businesses, then they know where to send them of things to do. For five hours, locals travel all over Grand Rapids on a bus to locally owned art galleries to historical preservation sites, soaking up all the attractions and culture the city has to offer. So this is what came out of the 25-year-old time capsule. Oh, cool. I've lived here for almost all my life. I've never been to any of these places until today, which is very interesting considering I work at pretty much a museum. And for some, this has been a nostalgic experience. My mom from Germany never imagined to be in Judy Garland's house. And then we went into the Discovery one and we were goofing around and my mom was a kid. We were playing around. So it's a good memory when I see this place here because I think about my mom. You know, she, it's been four years, so I miss it. And Grand Rapids City officials say 80% of tourists who come visit are from the Twin Cities area. I think it's important because we are a small community and people come here to want to do something and live Grand Rapids. And with us living here, we're the best ones to tell them what, what, what fun things and great things there are to do. The city hopes that through this, it will keep visitors coming back for more. In Grand Rapids, Brenna Mack, Lakeland News. And you can also look up future events on visitgrandrapids.com. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.